to Jai Long and this is Make Your Break. Whether you're a big-hearted creative or an aspiring entrepreneur, let's take action on your dreams. Reconnecting you with your why and giving you the how. I'm here to dish out actionable mindset tips and fun industry secrets to help you blow up your biz. From eye-opening reality checks to motivational gold, no two episodes are ever the same. So tune in weekly, skip the FOMO, and let's dive into the deep together. Hey, welcome back, entrepreneur. I hope you're doing well and you're hustling, you're making things happen, you're making your own break and everything else. In the last episode of Make Your Break, I talk about scaling from zero to 100K, how that looks with your mindset and everything else. And today, we have a very special guest, Britt Jazak, and she is from the Six Figure Business Map. And she contacted me after she went viral for something that she did and something that happened to her. And from there, she ended up getting a lot more leads. And so we talk about today, how do you show up and serve more leads without lowering the customer and client experience for everyone around us? And how do we convert more people and waste less time? So I'll go over three to four programs today on how to handle more leads when you're scaling up your business. And I know this is not a problem that everyone has, but you do get to a point when you get too many leads in and then you have to try and get back to all the emails. And it can be hard to sort of keep everything in one place, but also best show up for our clients. And today I think I've got a few programs for you that can change the game. Now, these are programs that I personally use. Uh, I think for me, you know, it's very important as I've got thousands and thousands of clients to make sure that I know where everyone is in their journey and their customer journey. And I know that I'm best serving them and we're converting people as fast as possible and everything else. So whether you are, maybe you're a wedding photographer, you're a family photographer, maybe you're a musician, you're a designer, maybe you're a florist, maybe you do eyelashes, maybe you're a makeup artist, wherever you are. The thing is, you're always trying to convert leads, right? Because you get on social media and you bring people in the top of the funnel. And then after that, you got to do sales. And it's all about getting to those leads as fast as possible and giving them the best experience as possible as soon as they come to your business. Now with Britt, today was actually a mentoring session. She contacted me and within 24 hours, we jumped on a call. I wanted to do a one-on-one mentoring session to really help her out in this stage where she's having an influx of attention on her business because of the way that she shows up and the way that she acts in her business, of course, by no surprise, her business is blowing up and she's doing big things and she's inspiring the community and everything else. So um, she's definitely inspiring me and I'm so excited I get to talk to Britt today and I get to bring her to you. Now, last thing I want to say before we get started, the Six Figure Business Map, which is my signature course online coaching program, which Britt is actually in as well. It's open for enrollment very soon. If you want to join the wait list, I just recorded three new trainings that I'm going to send to you for free to show you where you're leaving money on the table, how you can make more money, make more impact and set unrealistic goals and go after those goals. So if you're interested in that course, and even if you're not, I do suggest going over to my waitlist at sixfigurebusinessmap.com. Joining that, and I'll email you these three trainings. There's around about two and a half hours worth of free trainings that I know you're going to love. So let's get into today's episode. And uh, yeah, thanks for being with me once again. And let's see how today goes. Sweet, sweet. So tell me what happened to you. Tell me what's going on. Okay, so I left Amazon, which was my full-time job, right, in pursuit of photography, thinking I have time to scale, educate myself, (laughs) kind of on-ramp, you know, figure it out. And then I was on a ferry boat. This was um, just a couple days ago on April 15th, you know, because somebody reached out for a last-minute proposal booking. I said, okay, sure, I can leave the house in 15 minutes make it to you in Seattle in X amount of time. I just need to catch the ferry boat. So I drove to the ferry. Everything was normal. Left at 4.15. And then about 10, 15 minutes into the voyage, the ferry announced passengers prepare. We need to brace for impact. And so the ferry was going to crash. And we were like, oh, <laughs> all right. And the staff was amazing. The crew, captain, they did a great, great, great job. It was a very safe like collision, if you could even call it that. So it's technically grounded in terms of, you know, what happened. But essentially the generator failed and we lost power of the steering control. And so, you know, I was looking, seeing we're approaching land pretty quickly. And I looked at my camera bags and said, that's my mobile office. 
what if I can't come back to my car? I'm going to take all my stuff with me, right? So I went up board and all the protocol helped people put on life jackets, all that, you know, kind of emergency protocol rules. And then about an hour in, they told us, okay, we're officially going to be abandoning our vehicles and we'll be following up with evacuations for all of the personnel. And there were 600 of us passengers on board. So it was a big undertaking, you know, for them to figure that out. And I know crew's amazing. Like, I feel safe. You know what I mean? Like, this is unforeseen situation, but it's not like an safety issue, right? And so I'm just like talking to people, making new friends. Like, where are you headed? Oh, that's wild. I was supposed to photograph someone's proposal. Like, hope Jocelyn said yes. You know, like lighthearted. And then I don't know. <laughs> just trying to, you know, get some laughs. And then a little bit after that, the captain told us, okay, well, we will be, you know, evacuating, but it won't take place until 11.30 p.m. once the tides can change. And this was at 5.45-ish our time. And we were thinking, oh, we're going to be here for a long, a long time. And so I could just, I just physically see the morale shifting and I think some people who maybe just had casual plans were bummed, but not that big of a deal. But the people I really noticed were all of just the Navy personnel who were dressed to the nines, like suit and tie, black tie affair, gorgeous ball gowns. I could just see their face just kind of fall, you know, like. I could have started. Exactly. And so I just was thinking like, all right, I know I can't get us out earlier. I can't help us go home. I can't really do much with the mechanical side of the equation, but like you know what I can do is I can love on people. I can serve people. I can boost morale. So I had this fun idea and I was like, I've got all my camera gear. Like, let's just, let's just do something with what, I, what we got, you know? And I asked the captain for permission if it was okay that I just held some free photo shoots for all these beautiful folks that were dressed up and like, maybe you can't go to the Navy, but you still deserve to be documented. Like, look at the effort you put into your look. Look at the time and money that you spent on that dress, you know? And so... I don't know. I just feel like people in the Navy have already sacrificed so much and just deserve to be celebrated yeah. as everyone does, but especially, you know, and, and their spouse that probably have to be both parental roles overnight when their spouse is deployed on a, you know, short notice. So just felt for these people and was like, you know, you're so close to having a night and enjoying and being celebrated and like just kind of taken away from them. So yeah, I just bopped around and talked to a bunch of people and he said, here's what I'm doing. No pressure, you know? I'll be on the stern of the ship. And Jai, you would have been howling if you saw this. I had literally a huge orange life jacket. Like I ain't got no neck when I'm leading these photo shoots. I lick my face. <laughs> and um, yeah, a lot of people showed up and loved it. It was just a good time. It was a lot of laughs and everyone was cracking up. And it was just a morale boost, you know, when we got the end of the night yeah. on. I think a, a higher note. But anyways, long story short... For me, it was all confident. So did many people come over to you? Yeah, I mean, it took about a thousand photos. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was fun. And then I i don't know, I, I wanted to stay up. I got home safely, right? At 11, 11.30 that night. And I stayed up till 4.30 the next morning, just editing and sending galleries. And we had to go back the next day to get our cars, right? Because we left the vehicles and everything and went home on a different boat. But anyways, so on one of them, I was like, P.S. Hope you got safe, uh, got home safely. So that was just funny. And like I said, it was a very safe experience. So by no means am I trying to like take away the gravity of it or all that people did on like the rescue side and all the orchestration. That's the real work. But for me, it's like I was safe enough because everyone was so exceptional at their jobs that I could create an experience for people. You know what I mean? So I really want to like give them the yeah, cool. of that. Yeah. So I reached out to you, of course, because this for me was more, I mean, just like, you know, for free, for the heck of it. And when I went back the next day to get my car, there's a local radio station here called King 5 News. And they they saw that and they heard about this. And they're like, wait, you did what? Wait, did people show up? Wait, that oh, it was a, it was a thing? And um, they wanted to do a story about it on the news, which is like hilarious to me. I was like, okay, yeah, my big bean, like life jacket heads on the news. Love that. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> And that was <laughs> so generous of them. And I had a friend who I, I asked, you know, hey, I'm going to go to photograph a proposal. Seattle. Yeah, do you want to grab a drink or dinner after? And she wasn't able to, but I said to her, the gallery that I took instead saying like, you know, didn't capture the proposal, but still ended up taking photos, kind of ha ha. 
And she loved the work so much that she sent it to news stations. And I had no idea and then called me afterwards and asked for forgiveness. And I was like, you did what? So I feel very, very touched, but it's just like, I don't know. It's a beautiful, beautiful blessing that people are interested in this. Life gives you lemons, make lemonade story. And I totally see that. And I am grateful, but I just respect, I don't know, the heck out of everybody I met. And that's just not why that happened. So I made it really clear to all the news stations, like, listen, like this is about them and me doing such a small thing for people who give so much. So if I don't have their consent for these photos to be shared, like we, we have no story here. Like these are their photos, their moments, their memories, like, and they loved it. And a bunch of them gave their approval. Everyone actually, I think, gave their approval. So I reached out to you because one news station caught wind, then the next and the next. And this week I did like six different interviews with all these amazing reporters and I'm really touched. Yeah. I'm on a radio station tomorrow. It's just so bizarre because I'm behind the scenes and I love it. Like I love illuminating other people like passion wise, you know, and it's really weird to be interviewed <laughs> from the norm. So anyways, I have a beautiful opportunity to show you all the faults of my business because I'm manual and everywhere. And I'm such a one man show because this was just a passion for a side hustle for six years and never meant to become full-time until I realized, man, this is just really what I meant for him. I don't know if I get a love on people for a career, that's why would I make that a side hustle? What would it be like if that was what I did as a career? Like what opportunities, what people would I meet? And so I am not ready to scale, but the interest is there and I'm trying to honor that. But so lots of people are getting in touch right now. Yeah. Yeah. And and not even like for business, just really sweet people. Like, I'm so touched. Thank you for doing that. What made you think of that? I, mm-hmm. I can't even tell you how much that I needed to hear that in the news. The news is really dark and cruel right now. And I'm tired of hearing about murders and burglaries and thefts and crime. And this was really I, I don't know. I'm just very, I'm really touched. Uplifting story. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. But I want to have the bones ready right, to serve better. Yeah, you know, absolutely. We're at the crossroads. Yeah, well, there's a few things in this. Like, first of all, I want to say congratulations. Obviously, I'd always say you make your own break and things happen because of you, you know, that don't happen to you. And this is a perfect example of that because it could be so easy for somebody else that hasn't worked on their mindset and they're in a different space where they become a victim of something like this. And mm-hmm. most of us, 99% of us do that. And so stepping up like that, it's like just shows how you're thinking differently, but also you're thinking about how can you bring value opposed to how can you can c- complain or how do you see this as a negative in your business or whatever it is. Yeah. So congratulations on that. And the most successful people that I ever see are the ones that literally never see problems that only see solutions because we get to choose if we see a problem or a solution. And a solution in a situation like that, it's like you can create so much work when you show up the way that you do because you have passion and things like that. And it becomes pool marketing because all you're doing is you're just going about life the way that you do anyway. And then people are actually confused by it because they're like, why aren't you upset like the rest of us? And then, um, and then they're attracted to it. <laughs> you know, that's why it's on the news and things like that. So it's so cool. Really? You talk about like your business is not ready to scale and things like that. And uh, one thing that I do talk a little bit about in the business app and sometimes on my podcast, it's like really, we need to always think about what size business we want to create and then create it first before we go out and get all the world to work because we can end up in a predicament just like where you are now. Because we don't think it's going to get really busy, but then overnight it can get so busy. Like overnight you can have something go viral or something else. So I always say like build it out, the right systems, because when you create something that has a capacity to book more clients, serve more people, things like that, by default, it will always fulfill that um, that role. It will always fill those gaps. And it's one of the most important things. We don't do it because it's scary investing in ourselves, buying a new software program. You know, it's like having things that are not yet needed, things like that. But uh, in my experience, it's like one of the most important things. One thing that I would do if I was you and in your situation, I've actually brought up a couple of software programs that I believe would work really well for you. One is this one here is called ManyChat. ManyChat is just manychat.com and this one's for Instagram. And so what it does is basically 
you create yourself a funnel. So if I've got a live chat, you create yourself a funnel of uh, automations. And so you can do things like, for instance, on your Instagram, you could say, DM me for prices. And then, or like DM me the word prices and I'll get back to you. And what you can create is you can create complete funnels where you drive people into different directions. Like, do they want a price? Are they looking? So you could ask them questions. You could say like, first thing, it kind of uses AI and things like that. But the first thing is like, DM me the word prices. Then once they do that, you could say, hey, I'm glad that you're interested in the prices. Are you looking for family photography photos? You know, what are you looking for? And then they click on the next one. And then you keep going and follow up through. And then by the time they get through, you can capture that email address right there. And then once they put in the email address, it instantly sends them your price guide. So that's like one way of doing something. So it's like so much quicker for you on social media. So it's not just you hustling all the time. Now, there's other things you can do. So if someone mentions you on Instagram, so someone, you know, you're on the news and someone like takes a photo, we could have an automated response for anyone that, that mentions you on Instagram. And it could just literally have like, Thanks for sharing the love and thanks for message, you know, thanks for sharing the thing. Um, I've got a few resources here if you're interested and you can send them to some of your links like your blog or some of your resources or sales pages or anything that you got going on. And so all this happens before you even actually talk to them. Wow. And by the time you actually talk to them, you are more so talking like, hey, I've just seen that you downloaded my price guide. Like, how's that for you? And so it cuts out a lot of the work and it makes a way better client experience because then people see like, wow, she's professional. Things are pretty awesome. And I got what I needed. So one thing we do, which I think is a massive mistake personally, is we hide our price guide and we make it really hard for people to get it. And a lot of the times we do that because we're scared that other people are going to steal our price guide or we're going to copy it. But I actually believe that the easier you make it for people to access your stuff, how much you cost what services you have, like the better experience they have, the quicker that they can book or the quicker they can walk away and it saves you so much time. So there is no downfall really. Like it's a downfall is when we come from that scarcity mindset of thinking like someone's going to steal our stuff or they're not going to book me when they see their giant prices so I want to trick them first and jump on a call first. Like I think those things are bad sales tactics and I think in 2023, you're going to get outdone by someone that like is open with their business and the way that they do it and, and the next steps and everything like that. Mm. Another thing that uh, ManyChat does is you can have recommended questions in your DM. So if I send you a DM, it will pop up a couple of frequently asked questions or recommended questions and then I can click on one and then it'll give me the answer or give me a full flow towards the answer. So for instance, like, if I jumped on and I, and you were like, um, I had like, would you like to book a session with me? And I'm like, no, okay, uh, I'll click on that. And then on that, it'll say, great. Like I'm actually already pretty booked out. Like there's been so many people get in touch, but I really want to make room for you. So if you're able to work, uh, work with me on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like bonus points on those ones. If so, I can even give you a, a cheaper deal because you're helping me out and you're helping my business out. So here's a link to my calendar. Like, just keep that in mind. You know, so you could do something like that. Or if you would like the premium spots, you know, I do charge a little bit extra for Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So just keep that in mind because it's got to work for both of us. I know you might not get some time off during the week and things like that. And, that's, and I get less of those days during the week. Yeah. So things like that. It's like taking your stuff to another level because now you're serving and meeting them where they're not even doing any of it. Like AI, and you set all this up, AI helps. And that's just like an amazing flow. And that's just from Instagram. And so many chats will work with Instagram and if you do use Facebook or other ones like that. So before I get off this train, I do want to show you a couple of other ones. There's one that I use and it's called Zendesk. And Zendesk is more of a chat box on your website. And what's cool about it is you can choose if the interaction goes to email or WhatsApp, or you can actually call them from there. So, um, well, they, they're like doing it to me right now. But what's really cool about Zendesk, when I go into my Zendesk, all of my clients like write to me and my staff, it comes through to Zendesk so I can see every interaction. Then there's a paper trail of every interaction. And then it's really easy for me to follow up or to archive those. So if it just goes to my Gmail and zing with everything else and all the clients that I currently handle and stuff, 
it can get pretty hard to like keep showing up and serving. But yeah. if someone gets a touch of you in some Zendesk and you've got like a little thing that says like, you know, follow up in three days time and you set yourself little tasks and that, it's really easy for you to get out of your Gmail, which is what you normally about, and jump back into your Zendesk. And also if you ever hire a VA or something, you just give them the logins to the Zendesk, create them a profile. And that way people know they're talking to your VA and not talking to you. And that way it's like a very transparent transaction. It's not someone jumping on your Gmail and then them seeing your personal emails and it's getting confusing. Tool number two, they both may cost money. I actually don't know too much. I know you can sign up to Zendesk for, uh, or to a lot of these for free, but they can be limited. But as a wedding photographer, you may have less volume. So a lot of the times like it doesn't matter if it's limited. Yeah. The last one is a same thing chat box, but this is the one I fully recommend for you and where you are. And it's called Video Ask. Now, the reason being on websites and on your website in particular, like I talk about this, we grow trust when we, when we show up on video and we talk to people. Now with video ask is really cool. I've actually got an example here. And if you go to jialong.co forward slash unrealistic for my unrealistic workshop, it's coming out soon. Just to show you what it looks like, it will pop up at about 10 seconds after you come on. And it's actually like a little video of me that talks them through. So yeah. And then when I go to that video, it will actually be me going like, hey, so just. Oh, for the questions people have about the video as you're watching it. Yeah. Brilliant. So this is more of an interactive version of the many chats. So right. you can see straight away, I'm talking to them. So imagine this on your website. Then I go, how much is it? And I click on here, have a look at this. So it goes, okay, I'm going to put in my name. So the name is Jai Long. So you can have a gateway. And you can also take this off. It's like, how much are your services? Then go next step. So then mm-hmm. I've got different pricing. And then I'm like, which, which one are you looking for? Or are you wanting to talk to a person? And then so like I show them my prices straight away. And then you can say, here's my prices, here's my packages. Would you like to download the PDF? And then it will, it will go to your PDF. And then in video ask, you can go behind the scenes and you can actually have a look and see like what people are doing and how it's all working, like who downloaded um, the PDF and all that kind of stuff. Um, people can respond to you like this person here has actually responded to me with an audio message. So when they're on my workshop, when I go here, people can, so if I go VIP for me, people can actually write back to me wow. on like, they can send me a video message or, or a bed or a message, or, like a video message, an audio message or a text message. So then there, and have a look at this. I've actually screen recorded. Wow. So you're able to essentially showcase your product as a teaser while talking to yeah. them. And so well, so I'm screen recording here. Like, have a look at this. Like, so I'm mm-hmm. screen recording how to do it. So it's so cool because I'm literally, so all I've done is I'm showing them a website, but I'm just showing them exactly where it is. And then I'm allowing it. So whilst they're looking at it and I explain to them what's in that package, they can then write me a text message or they can write me, they can like do a video message and say like, hey, Britt, I really like package three. That sounds really interesting. I'm just wondering before I, you know, lock it in, are you available in three weeks for that? And then another thing is you can literally add a calendar in there. So people, when you get your first email to get in here, people will actually put themselves in your calendar. So what I love is before I even talk to anyone, it pops up on my calendar that I've got a meeting with them, like a client meeting. They've already downloaded my PDF. They've already done everything. And then I'm just like, I can just write a follow-up email and just say, hey, I'm so excited that like we get to chat next Thursday. So things like this, like whatever video app charges, it's definitely worth it. I swear I don't even know what it is. And I know there'll be a free version, but something like this is like, you put in the time now and it doesn't even take that long you know, there's so many templates and stuff. Does it even take that long for you to set it up? And it took me about last week when I set it up to this workshop and I had lots of different journeys for them to go down. Like who's going to be at the workshop? Who's speaking? What value am I getting? How much is it? What day is it? And I've got all these different questions. And then at any given one, it could be like, I'd like to talk to a real human. And then it goes to mine. Then death sends me a text message and says, someone's requesting to talk to you, Jai. And then I talk to them or I send that to my team. So just to make sure I'm understanding, you created this for more transparency with essentially 
cold leads, people who are no idea who you are. They just find your website first. This is only website, mm-hmm. right? This is not on social media. It yeah, is. so this is website. So if someone came to your website, for instance, and you're looking at all the cool things and you got your blog and stuff, and then imagine you pop up in a little corner and go, hey, my name is Brie. And then they're like, oh, okay, what's this about? And they click on it and they go like, I know you're on here while you're looking around. I'd love for you to check out my prices. I'd love for you to check out my calendar. Like book yourself straight in. Instead of saying like, go to the bottom and then fill out that giant contact form and then do it mm-hmm. old school. It's like you can get them through the door instantly and imagine no one could even compete with you because no one's doing this in the industry. I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen it, never seen it done in the industry. Or just the human factor of it's easier for us to click than type and think yeah. and engage. And when people are interested and hooked and you're telling them, absolutely, you should be interested and I am available and I'd love to serve you. It's easier for them to keep saying yes than like, do I really know what day? Oh, do I really? Well... Maybe it's exactly. branding. I guess I want family. Like it's it's giving the contact form, I feel like gives them more chance to get stuck in their own head with their own decision. So you ideally would have website, cool little pop-up icon welcoming people, which I love that just for personality and like, hey, love that you're here. Thanks. But then it transfers the leads that are captured to Zendesk. Does this report so on now? Like, do, do you not use Gmail or how does the, because I'm, my, my problem I need right now is to get out of the manual Gmail process because exactly. that's a very time consuming. Well, so there's a few things. So with Zendesk, I use that for all my emailing, yes, but that's different to Video Ask. Video Ask, you literally don't need, it will go to the back end, your dashboard of Video Ask. And then with someone wants your message to say, you just write something there. So it's not even on emails. Like you'll have a thread and you literally write something like a chat box. So you just sit there you're like, hey, thanks for the message. Like here's my calendar and you can send them responses and you can do whatever. It's very instant. You do it straight from your phone. Can I try with Gmail? Yeah, of course. Because I'd love to see what we're back end of like, well, I, I know it's going to be worth it, but in my head's like, whoa, I've never, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm busy of course. Not being a time saver. Okay. Hey, oh, early bird tickets. Beautiful. So I scroll down. Actually, can I treat this like a whole? You, you, yeah, you do 100%. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm so focused. So, so go through the whole thing. So while you're doing that, I will just, um, I will just say that like the reason why you do something like this is you'll get less tire kickers, which means there's less manually arrived people finding out their story and reading big emails. So by default, you'll pull, you will like halve the amount of like people, the wrong people getting in touch with you, but you will double the amount of the people that actually book you because it was easy for them. So it means you're transferring from like people that are trying to work at your prices and what you do to they're already buyers. Like they're ready to go. They're seeing your staff, they're keen and it's easy from there. Love it. So what we want to do is like as we scale and food, like, um, and the problem that you're having, which is not one that many people have, it's, um, it's like you've got a volume, big volume of clients coming through the door. And so it's really important for us to show up and serve them. Just because we've got more people, more customers, doesn't mean that the client experience should get lower. In fact, it should get better as you're getting more money and you're getting more things. And you can do it. And this is how we do it. So you don't even need to hire a VA or anything. You literally can have things like this and it will streamline and make it so quick for you. I mean, for me, like when people are getting in touch, they're like, Jai, I'd love to join the waitlist for the business map. They write that to me and there's a whole flow that sends them and I don't even have to, like by the time they get everything, uh, I just sometimes I don't jump in and I say, hey, now we've got three tiers, which gives you 24 hour access replay for only $47 right now, but I'm pretty sure we're adding some more. Behind the scenes access, you actually have your own host that walks around. Think MTV in the 90s vibes, walking around, talking to a lot of the speakers, interviewing the attendees, things like that. Of course, you get a PDF workbook, interactive features, so you can actually chat online with everyone that's at the event itself. You can ask questions, submitting questions, join the giveaways, join the competitions, things like that. You also get a couple hundred dollars worth of gift vouchers from our major sponsors. Okay, cool. So now I've sent you a question. Fantastic. Ooh, I get yeah. confirmation that says, can we see the workshop? And, and I just got it cool. right here. And so it just pops up and just... You, so I can see all the things you did. You wrote, how much is it? No, so you clicked on that. Okay. Then you said, okay, I want the $47 one, sweet. And then okay. you clicked on that. And then you wrote to me, hey, John, 
thanks for the mentoring call right now, <laughs> blah, 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 appreciate it. And so that's it. Then I can say like, I can do a video or audio to you. So I can literally do a little video message to you. So I'll do that to you right now. So firing up, it's record. Yep. Oh, and it gives you time. Nice. Yeah. So, hey, thank you so much for being on my website. I really do appreciate you uh, and everything else. So talk to you soon. Got any other questions, just let me know. Love it. And that's it. And so you should now see me popping up on your side. Sweet. So then you can rewatch it if you want to edit, re-record. It looks like that's like... Yeah. So you can you can add text overlay. You can re, re-edit it. You can watch it first before you send it. So it's not like, you know, I really want to do that all over again. Uh, and will that come to me via my email? Or is that in the... You'll, you'll get both, yeah, but you'll probably see it popping straight up on the website. Okay. It's funny that you can watch the back end right now while I'm showing you. Well, you it's can cool. see the front end and I'm showing you the back end. You know, yeah, yeah. It's like the ideal learning uh, experience. Uh, see, I just got another sweet, like, thank you so much for changing the experience for those folks on board and their entire nicely done. People just be very, very kind and sweet and like, wow, hey, thanks for doing that and being cool and it's amazing but they're all going through the same contact form you know they're like going yeah. they're taking like they're it means so much because they're taking their time to find me figure out how to contact me and then just sending me basically like a client inquiry that's sweet it's so we cool. know it's interesting when something like this happens you jump onto your zen desk and then record a new flow and say like hey did you see me on the news got some questions like want us to meet in something and then that way, like for people that are doing that, you've literally got a full flow for all those people. That's cool. If you even say like, I'm actually doing a bit of a giveaway right now, or I'm doing a bit of a special. So if you'd like to book a session with me and your family, like, you know, whatever it is, as long as it's Monday to Thursday, like let's make some magic. So you could like offer them then something and then ask them like, would you like to download that price guide? That way it's like they're writing to you, but then you're also showing right. that you have, like you're putting in the offer. Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Yeah. That's a cool kind of way to communicate and have it like a two-way door. So that's cool. Let me check the website. Okay. So just for your context, websites that uh, I think it's done. I think it's like, yeah. Okay. Communicated to me that like, yeah, we'll be in touch for school. Cause that still says the like, see you at the workshop. Thanks so much for your interest. And then I got it. And then now you'll get a video from me probably. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it says you have a new reply. Cool. So the, the reply, I love the video sense. I think that's such a cool. But like yeah. how easy is it to communicate with people and like the desire, the trust, like everything, it everything. exponentially grows. Like it's mm-hmm. amazing. But you're serving people way better than everybody else and you're creating desire across everybody. So no one's ever going to feel like, oh man, like she didn't get back to me or maybe she's too famous or maybe she's too busy, like whatever it is. Like I don't even know what it is. It like breaks down any barrier between you and your client now and you're just going like literally I'll give you whatever you want. And so yeah. like I said before, one of the templates of video ask, you could have one where it's like, oh, would you like to see my price guide? Would you like to download my price guide? I'll have another one. Would you like to book in your free consultation call? You know, and then or would you like to see my availability? Would you like to see my my travel bucket list? You know, so you could have like a few different ones like that. So book in your free consultation call, that will pop up right there in the chat, a calendar for them, which is like kind of like Calendly. And that way they can like choose it. They click on the date and time that works that you've, that you've given permission for. And then that will sync with your calendar. So you'll be there. You haven't even talked to these people yet. And you'll see it pop up on your calendar. Like you've got a consultation call tomorrow afternoon, Thursday. And you're like, nice. You know, they've already seen, you know, they've seen your prices, they've done everything. And you're yep. just like, happy yep. days. Okay. So question for you. How does, I have not, to be transparent, I haven't started with Studio Ninja yet, but I was hoping to. Yeah. How does Studio Ninja fall into this workflow or does it, is this an independent element that you're actually leaning more to towards these quick responses and interactions versus the Studio Ninja set? So with... with- so which for me, I'm very relentless and I like to do things a little bit harder than the, than the easy norms. But the way that I do things like that is instead of using the studio and then your like contact form, you still can have that, like for sure. Especially if someone's like, you know, a little bit old school and they kind of want to see that form because they see it on everybody else. But essentially what I use Studio Ninja for is like once I validate this client and they're interested to come and meet with me, 
Then I'll go over into Studio Ninja and I input their details in there and I'll say that they're a potential lead or they're a client. Mm -hmm. And so the reason being is because once they get in touch uh, and they book themselves in, I can even start sending them out the contract and questionnaire before they either come and meet with me. So I'll just go like, hey, I just let you know, I seen that you're on my website and you use video and you booked yourself in and let me tell you, I am so excited that I get to meet with you guys. Now, before we have a meeting, I would love to just once again send over my price guide. I'd love to send over the wedding questionnaire and I'd love to send over my contract just so you're fully equipped with all the information that you need to make a buying decision because I want you to look off, be looked after from the very start all the way through. And then you can automate that email as well. And then from there, they are fully, they see all that kind of stuff. They can even sign a contract before they wanted to. You can send them a form. You can send them an invoice before they even meet you, like if you wanted to. You know, so there's so many things you can do to fast track it. It's only us that likes to slow things down because we like to do it because we're like, well, I want to see if there's the right fit for us. But trust me, if someone jumps on your website and they see you talking to them, they're going to know if they're going to know if you're the right fit or not within moments. And then mm-hmm. once they see your price guide, they're going to know if you're the right fit in moments. So when people do that to me, I know whether they like me or not because they would have clicked away. And it gives them the full control to have that basically that buying power, which I think is appreciated. You know, mm-hmm. so are you saying that Studio Ninja is helpful for a continuation of essentially what you can effectively do in these other elements? Like, would I be able to just live off of Vendesk and this video element? Just that, like, essentially, because I'm trying to, I'm in the weeds right now, right? I have way more to do than I can have time for with Mm -hmm. entrepreneurship, but that's just where I'm currently at. So I'm like, I need to make the right decisions. I mean, to make them in negative time. I mean, the last four nights I've stayed up to 4.30, right? And I'm just trying to crank through and I'm farther behind. So I'm like, okay, amazing problem to have. It means that I'm too busy to keep up with stuff wow, couldn't ask for something better. But my my human element's going to run out soon. <laughs> so we right? don't know Studio Ninja right now? No. Okay, yeah. So this is going to save you so much time. Studio Ninja is a life sent because what it is, it's a client management system. What Zendesk really is, is kind of more a sales system. So essentially what you're doing with Zendesk is you are breaking down so many barriers in the sales process. You're validating those right clients before you waste all your time on them. They are getting in a way better experience with you. So you're actually going to convert more people. Then once you filter all those people through, now you're going to have like your solid crew of people that are like, yes, we're keen to work with you. We've seen your prices. We've seen everything. We're keen. Then you put them into um, Studio Ninja. Studio Ninja is where you look after them. So you're going to see in Studio Ninja, for instance, if they've signed the contract or if they've filled out the questionnaire or if they've paid you. So you can invoice through Studio Ninja. You can also set yourself up um, actions where it like reminds you to send an email six months before the shoot or like whatever it is. So it's a really powerful system so things don't slip through the cracks. You don't double book <laughs> yourself. Um, yeah. And so like managing people straight away, what happens is, like, of course, on, on video ask and, and on my DMs, actually on my DMs, um, I think I literally got back to 600 DMs today. I'm not even joking. So, because mm-hmm. um, we did a bit of a giveaway and they've just been like, I've been refreshing. They just keep coming up, keep coming up. Yeah. Like, good for you. That's all well and good. Yeah. I know it's good. And it's so good that I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm the one sitting here. I sit here literally manually writes everyone because I feel weird someone writing on behalf of me. I don't do that. So I write in front of, I write to everyone and I also have got the chat box. So if they write something like waitlist, then they're going to get an automated response. So all those things help. But um, once I do all that, if I've got like 500 people today and maybe 500 people tomorrow DMing me, I can't manage or have the bandwidth to even imagine what that person said to me or who they are or anything. Yeah. And so then in all those people, if I did see like someone's like, I really want to work with you, I'd actually probably screenshot it. And then I'd put them, I'd say, what's your email or email me or jump on video ask or do whatever, then I can put them in Studio Ninja and process them that way. So they're my like true clients. And that's manual, correct? So it sounds like you can automate where yeah. you can with the sales process, being the video element. And then of course, the like many chats. And that helps you, if I'm understanding correctly, filter who's serious, who's ready to book and, and pay their deposit and do the contract and who's just perusing. And then once you confirm- exactly. This person wants a contract. They they love me. They love my price. 
the dates and that's wrong very long i'm adding you into studio ninja got it and then is so, studio ninja um, also um an email platform or is that still through yeah ninja? you can you can you can email them through studio ninja that's right so one thing is and not many people talk about this the last piece of platform which you probably don't need to know right now but it's called zapier and so what zapier does is you can integrate different things each other. So for instance, if I go on a Zapier, let's go. So I went Zendesk Zapier and it's like, has all that, but let's go video ask. Video. So if you just Google video ask Zapier. And so what it's going to do is, for instance, if you use Slack, for instance, when someone connects with you and talks to you on video ask, it will automatically send over a message to Slack and let your team know or yourself know that you've got a message sitting there. So that's one example. Another example is you can Slack it to yourself on an email or CRM. So this is like Studio Ninja. So for instance, you can, if someone gets in touch with you, you literally could zap over their information into, for instance, Studio Ninja. And then from there, you can fill out the whole process or you can automate the process. So you can set it things called actions. These are a little bit more advanced. You don't really need to write that kind of stuff. But once you sort of have the bandwidth and the time and everything, you've sort of slowed down a little bit. If you really want to automate stuff, you can automate things so everything works. Like you can do that. So for instance, like if someone joins up to the business map, if someone sends me a message, my message, so instead of using Studio Ninja, I personally use Pipe Drive. And so it will send the message to Pipe Drive. It'll put in all the information in the Pipe Drive and it'll say, this person's a lead. They're thinking about joining the business map. They're on the wait list. Then from there, they'll buy the way they can buy the business map. And then all these things fulfill. They sign the contract, contracts emailed out to them automatically. Their password emailed out to them automatically. I extracted their postal address and I, and I posted out a journal automatically, you know, and then like it sends a Slack message over to Anna to tell Anna that Brick just joined the business map. And then we have you guys type it out the type form to say like, you know, what is it you're trying to achieve? That information will go over to Anna. So then Anna knows that you guys, like what what's going on in your business and where are you and stuff. So then she manually, all she does is sees that and then she writes you a DM or on Circle and says, hey, like it's so good that you guys are here. But we didn't have to lift a finger. So when someone puts in their credit card all the way through, the client experience is really good for the client and it's not me sort of going, oh my God, what do I do next? And I better get that person to that person to this, to that platform or whatever. Yeah. Okay, last question for you. How do you mitigate spam? Like from communications, fake accounts, like just, you know, things like that because I've seen a huge increase in that. And yeah, especially on Instagram, yeah. Since the blue tick went live. And I was like, I'm not going to buy it. I've actually seen a bunch of it since then, which is really interesting. Are you able to mitigate it or what does that look like? Because that's the thing that Honestly, I'm, it. I'm like, you know, that's, that's just, that's just the, the name life. of the game. <laughs> exactly. It's hilarious because even you saying that I'm like, yeah, what about it? Because I'm so used to it for so long. Like and- you just... It's just there. So obviously if I get into my DMs like right now and I refresh, there's going to be a squealing in of them. And a lot of them, people trying to pitch me something, people trying to sell me something. Like, John, do you want to make five figures in your business? Like I'll get millions of those. I'm like, I really don't. Can you please yourself? <laughs> so I do just like, I press spam on them. Like if they aren't spamming me, I'll report it as spamming or I just, yeah, I block. Basically every time I get a spam, okay. massive those. So I'm doing the right thing. You just restrict or block. Okay. I was like, yes. is, am that's I, all you can really do. Okay. I was like, am I attracting spam because I'm engaging and hitting block? Like it was at that point where I'm like, am I making up first? I don't no, you will that's just get a bigger influx. So the more followers you get and things like that. And the more that, the more action that happens in your business and your social accounts and stuff, the more you guys get spammers, then you'll, then you'll start getting haters. And that's interesting. And after haters is the best point because then you get super bans. So there's this weird moment where it goes from like annoying spam and everyone just trying to message you and do whatever. Then you get the haters and then those people come out of nowhere and they just want to voice to the world how you're not worthy and you're not the right person. You shouldn't be talking to people. You shouldn't be booking things. You shouldn't be doing whatever. And then after that, if you're resilient enough, because most people give up there. 
then if you're resilient enough that you keep killing those people with gloves and you keep showing up the way that you want to show up and you keep being you, then people start taking notice of it. And that's only the point when you start getting super fans, not even before that, because you haven't been through enough for people to be a fan of something. So when you get through that point, people go like, literally I had so many haters that turn into super fans. Cause they're like, Jai, I respect your hustle. And I respect that you're still here. And I respect that you're not fake. Like you are actually changing lines. You must be, cause it just can't be this many people that are lying, you know? So it does take that time and it's important to put in that time. But good for you to receive that because that's yeah. it's true. But to receive it isn't always the case and you deserve to hear that. That's amazing. Ah, oh, thank you so much. It's fun. And I just want to say like, it's, a, it's, you know, keep on top of all this stuff. Just think about as you grow your business, there's more leverage and the leverage is like, in this day and age, you don't even need to hire people. You've got so many software programs and so many cool things you can use right now that streamlines and makes a better client experience for everybody. Yeah. So make sure you use those things and also just make sure you enjoy this moment because it's, it's fucking fun building your business and having growing pains like this. This is the big problem you want. You don't want the little problem of like, you don't know where your next client is. You want the big problem of like, there are too many people come through the door and I can't even like get back to more. That's a good problem. Mm -hmm. So these growing pains really help you stretch, you know, past your first hundred K second, third, fourth, and it was all the other milestones in your business because it showed you resilience. You're learning tons of things and you're inspiring a lot of people. So well done. And I just get to meet more people, which is like sets me on fire. And I'm like, all right, let's go. And um, last, last, last question. When you have somebody, they paid you, you said, hands off. You didn't touch them. Interest, credit card, done. Does that integrate all into Studio Ninja then from That's right, yeah. Else? Cool. So you don't have to cross-reference, shoot, somebody paid me on this platform. You can, wow, Jaya, this is so, this is a game changer. Thank you for all this. I really yeah, appreciate Studio Ninja it. is a game changer. And yes, like, so then that way you don't have to sit there and like see if anyone's paid you or, you know, you lose your mind if you're like facing that stuff up and people yeah. signing contracts and people filling out questionnaires. Like you want to automate that, not only for you, but for your clients, they want it automated. It's just easy for them to get more reminders and things like that. So I had reminders that, you know, automated reminders like, hey, I noticed that you didn't pay your invoice yesterday. Is there anything I can do to help you? Like, is it, are you struggling with anything? You know, did you just forget? I asked all these questions. And then people are like, I really appreciate you reaching out to you. I'm like, maybe they don't know it's an automated email. And then they're like, I'm actually just pay right now. You know? You think, you think your old self, you're like, oh, that was previous me. Yeah, 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 yeah. He loves you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I did, I did originally write, write the email. So, you know, it's just that you don't need to keep sending it out and doing tasks over and over and over and over. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. You are such an inspiration, but you also deserve all the success that you have because you've worked so hard for it. And I love how vulnerable you've been about like, I've won so much money. I've lost so much money. I take risks. I lose them. I succeed. Like, thanks for always being real about it because I think there's so many people who are rooting for you, but don't even think that you could possibly hear their voice. And it's like, those are the people I always totally. the most. You know what I mean? So keep it up. You're, you're crushing it. You're crushing the game. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Britt. It means a lot. And thank you for jumping on this call as well. Um, it's so good to hear the story and how everything's going and just getting my update. So I enjoyed it. Hey, Make Your Breakers. Want to streamline your audible dose of inspiration, motivation, and creative biz insights with a custom playlist made just for you? Um, was that a yes, please? Kicking our arses into gear, sifting through all of Make Your Breaks episodes to date. Yep, we're talking all 200 plus episodes. We've meticulously curated some banging playlists just for for you. We want to help you to make that break ASAP. So whether you're a newbie or have listened to every episode a million times, jump into the show notes and check out the little something something we whipped up to generate your very own custom playlist. <laughs>